Okie dokie, everyone. Well, morning. Um, uh, hope time, time for my cast once again. And, um, let me intro this music real quick. And, um, I'm actually gonna find this music kind of distracting. I've listened to, I've listened to a good chunk of this album, uh, earlier. This sounds freaking awesome as hell. But this is, uh, Bogan Witch, uh, Nang Hex. This is, uh, Dungeon Synth and then Tanzel Core. I don't know what Tanzel means, but whatever it is, it sounds pretty cool. But it's, it's a little bit of techno. Um, there's a, there's a fair amount of 8-bit boss music. That's what I'd call it. So, but it's got some uh, satanic themes as well. So, so really goofy combination here. But yeah, like I said, I might, uh, I might end up getting distracted here from time to time. So, And I'm also kind of sound testing this too. Okay, but anyway, um, moving right along. And already I messed up. Okay, but anyway, um, I rearranged the front. So I um, I moved around some furniture in my bedroom or in my living room. For those that didn't see my previous other cast, uh, they did an apartment inspection last week, and they said that uh, I have too much uh, unused furniture in my living room. It's like, it's based, it, from their point of view, it was blocking the patio door, so I had to clear a path for them. I had to clear a path for it because it's like a fire hazard or something like that. But I moved, uh, I moved my little recliner and my workout bench, got them all, got them out of there and moved them into my bedroom. So, um, all that's left now is like the, the couch and the end table. So I, I moved them over against the wall that, you know, the wall that's uh, right by my front door. So there is a, I still have to move my end table up against the wall as well. But the problem is, is the end table that I'm using is, it's, um, it's, it's, um, it's bracing my couch, the one that I sit on and sit in front of me, you know, in front of the TV and all that, the one I actually use. Um, cause if I, cause otherwise if I don't, if, when I sit back on the couch or sit down or whatever, it'll, it'll slide back a little bit. So, so yeah, so I kind of have to have it there. So what I'll end up having to do is probably about, like before I lay down or just before the landlady shows up, slide the end table back against the wall and then when and then when she visits hopefully she doesn't tell me that my uh, my couch has to be moved too or if, if, if so then that's got to be a major problem because um all right i'm gonna have to turn that down a little bit Anyway, because otherwise, if uh, because the reason I'm able to, to create content is because of the way I have things set up right now. And uh, if um, uh, if I can't have it set up the way I want it, then it's gonna be a problem. I'm because I can't, I really can't move my TV because there's like a TV, computer, TV stand, and all that, and I got an end table and all, and all that crap. and even if I did, even if I was able to get all that moved, or and, and that's the other issue too is uh, I'd have to have a second person helping me do this, cause I got a bad back and both of my shoulders are shot. So, and as it is right now, after a day of work, I'm already pretty sore coming home. So, but like I said, let's hope that doesn't happen. Like I said, I do, I do, I do have a sort of kind of path, path clear to the patio door, just like she wanted. So. <laughs> I'm banging my head as we speak. <laughs> yeah, 
back. Do this real quick. Still working on it. Still working on it. <laughs> but yeah. Um. Uh, but otherwise, um, uh, still continuing on. Um. I also wa I was also trying to watch a movie called The Queen's Gambit. Remember, uh, there was a I uploaded an image on my Final Fantasy XIV blog. It show it called they called it the Netflix effect. The Netflix effect. This is a uh, that this this movie. It's like super popular and it took on a whole bunch of people. It uh, made them all it made them all decide to take up chess. Um, it kind of brought the chess craze back to back to this country, and um, oh, what? and this is uh, based on a book that was written like 37 years ago, like back in like the early 80s. And there, but yeah, there's I guess there's this uh, big resurgence in chess now. I'm like, hmm, interesting. So I kind of wanted to watch it just to see what it was like, but nope, can't do it. Uh, apparently it's Netflix only. I tried watching it on YouTube, but all they have on there is little clips, so I'm not a fan of that. And it's in and uh Amazon, it's not even on Amazon, like at all, period. So the only place it's on is uh, the only place it's on is on uh, Netflix. You know, and I'm not, and I want nothing to do with that. I, I'm wanting nothing to do with that company. You got to pay like fifteen dollars a month, just for decent, just for decent streaming. There's a there's a cheap option on it, but you but it's like four hundred and eighty pixels. That quality on there is a little bit on the bad side. I think it's like it's like um three ninety nine a month or something like that. But man, I can I could probably watch other stuff on YouTube for free. Which is actually better quality, so. But but yeah, I I was really wanting to watch this. And I've been a and kind of and kind of like pinball, I've been a I've been a lover of chess ever since I was a kid. Just played played it a ton. Um, these days, not so much. If anything, I would probably rather play speed chess. Like only five seconds per move per move like an, maybe like an hourglass mode or something but yeah I I don't really have the patience anymore to just sit here and just spend long periods of time trying to plan out my next move and all that so but yeah hope uh, I guess I'll have to wait till, till when that great day comes and the movie be available on YouTube or something, or YouTube and/or Amazon. So, and another point of disappointment. There's a brand new game out called uh, Oh. Terror from something. Terror from Hemorrhageville or something like that. But uh, it was on Alpha Beta Gamer, the YouTube channel. I checked it out. I'm like, that looks like fun. It looks like some dumb fun. Kind of like a, kind of like a game called Brawl Force, if you've ever heard of it. But yeah, that was another. That's another dumb fun game. I don't play it. I don't play it very often. 
But it, it's just it's just great to fire up and play every every so often. So, but I'm thinking of uh, Terror of Hemorrhageville or whatever it's called. I'm thinking that's going to be another one too. But on the downside, just um, despite what uh, despite what the Steam page says, it is excuse me, it is not you. It is not controller friendly. Controller doesn't work at all on it. You can only use a keyboard. I'm like no, like you can't you can't even use a mouse. Like it's keyboard only. So yeah. So much for that. I mean, it's freaking 2021 going on 2022. I mean, we should be able to have controller compatibility with damn near any game that comes out. You know. You know, this ain't the 80s and 90s when the technology was brand was pretty much brand new. I mean, no, we we're at an age where we can where. As far as video games go, we can basically make something from literally nothing. I mean, not much reason why you couldn't take a, even if you know, even if it's a brand new demo game like, like Terror from Hemorrhageville. You know, you could have made that controller compatible too. And no reason to just go with keyboard only. So yeah, that that kind of ticked me off. <coughs> but and I did my usual gems of war as well. Uh just I um. I grinded up. I grinded a whole bunch of battles. I don't have it with me, but I, um, it's called a. Uh, it's an item called a uh, plunder and peril. It's this. Um, it's a mythic weapon. Um, got a hold of that. Uh, toyed around with it a little bit. Uh, I. It's gonna need. It's gonna need some work. But uh, there's a. Uh, there was a specific team that uh, that this weapon was meant for. But like I said, it, I'm gonna have to do some. Uh, I'm gonna have to do some tweaking or something in order to really make it work. It's basically a. Uh, I, I don't want to say. I don't want to say it's a glass cannon, but it's like it's a freaking howitzer that takes an incredibly long time to load up. Like a, like a, like an old fashioned cannon. You know, you had a. You had to grab the cannonball. You had to. You had to push it down the cannon, and you had to stick. You had to pack it down in there. You had to pack in a bunch of gunpowder. Oh no, no! You had to pack in a bunch of gunpowder down the cannon. You had to do that. Then you had to take the cannonball, push it down there. Then you had to take a. You had to, and then you had to light the fuse, and you have to wait. And then, and you have to hope everything goes well. This build here kind of works like that as well. It takes a very long time for the. For it to get going, but once it gets going, it just devastates the other team. Yeah. So, but like, like I said, it, I, for for PvP, where many of the teams are basically one turn kill teams. You know, you have, you pretty much have, I pretty much have to get my game going before they get theirs going. So. So I couldn't really see me using this particular build, you know, in PvP. Um, I suppose I could probably try to show it. Just a moment. Alright, 
Still looking. Preparation on my part. I mean, but yeah, um, like I said, it's called Plunder and Peril. For those that have seen my pre, for those that have seen my previous, previous build, um, it's a build that um, it deals damage based on how much gold you have. So Plunder and Peril kind of works the same way as well, but uh, it's also. It's also based on how much gold you have, as well as your enemy. But, uh, unless, unless you're playing, unless you're playing a mirror match, like another, 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 um, another gold-based build, unless you're playing something like that, it's, it's not, it's not that great. So... But like like I said, I'll maybe when uh maybe when I stream when I when I do a when I do a gems of war stream later on today, if uh DJ Screw comes on, he could probably uh he could probably show me a thing or two on that. He's the expert. So, um, that's, but otherwise, that's it. Um, I pretty much said all the things I wanted to say this morning, so I'll just go ahead and call it good here. Uh, but thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And, um, I should be able to do another one at least tomorrow morning. So, but until then, until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.